We want to encourage every one of us today. We want to encourage ourselves. This word of God is a word to encourage everyone to tell you that your own is not your word finished. Amen. That we should try to be using our mouths to say good things to ourselves. And it will surely come to pass in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 1, we are going to take it from 67 of 8. It's a story about Mary. We know that Christmas is coming, which is we are doing our birthday of what? Of Jesus Christ. What? Remember also that today my son is also doing his birthday. And you see that the table everywhere we have been decorated. With cake. Hallelujah, somebody. I am here to encourage everyone of us. And the Lord God Almighty, whatever He says concerning our lives, it must surely come to pass. May you not doubt of what you have told. It comes to pass when Elizabeth and his husband, Zechariah, we are serving God in the temple in those days. And remember that Elizabeth was old in age. And the situation that Elizabeth had did not stop Elizabeth of not serving God. Neither the husband, Zachariah, that situation there we are, they were without what? No charge. But that one didn't stop them of serving the most high God. They continue to serve God with their situation. When they not see that those people are neglect their situation, they did not allow their situation to bring them down. And God not take over the situation. God will take over your situation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God take over the situation of Elizabeth and his husband Zechariah when they were serving God. In your difficult times, in times of your challenging, how did you serve God? He matters what? The Lord. When you are serving God and you allow the situation that you are passing through to go and you look up to God and God will pick up that situation and he will settle it. I am speaking to somebody in the house. Amen. God will pick your situation Amen. and he will settle it in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age and she was said to be married. Hallelujah. I don't know the area Yet the enemy says you are barren. After this word, you are going to bring forth that things that you have been asking God in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, There is nothing, 37 said, There is nothing that is a word impossible for God to do. There is nothing. As you are hearing the sound of my voice today, whatever good thing that are being dead in your life, we spring forth in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, but the Samuel says, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord, servant Mary's answer. By it being to me, as you have said, anytime prophecy comes unto you, claim it and say, as you said, so shall it be. When a good prophet comes unto you, amen. Don't just look at it and look at the person and say, what is this person saying? Amen. And the Lord God Almighty, he will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, at that time, 39, he said, at that time, Mary go ready and a hurry to a town in the hill country of Jordan. We had the century Zechariah home as greetings Elizabeth. When Elizabeth held Mary greeting, the baby lives 
in her womb. I don't know whatever that I'll be delayed. As you are hearing the word of God today, those good things will spring forth in Jesus' name. Amen. They will live for joy in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. May we be filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. And let jump because of time to that sixty seven of it. And let hear what the Lord is about to tell us. Amen. Amen. Verse 67. And his father, Zachariah, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Amen. 69. And he hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. And you shall be saved from your enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. As God himself has saved you from January to these days. Ah, the enemy that could not stop you in January will not stop you December in Jesus' name. Amen. We shall be saved in Jesus' name. Amen. And enter into 2023 safely in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. And for the hand of all that hate us. He said, for the hands of all who hated what? Hated us. There are many people who hated us. But by God being our side, he has saved us. From January, there are people who try to pull you down. But God be here with you. Also, in this December, the Lord, that the same God, will also be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. It will never forsake you, not abandoning you. There are many that hate us, that hate our children. But the Lord preserves the life of our children. That the same God, in this December, the Lord will preserve the life of our children. Our children shall enter with us 2023 recently in Jesus' name. Amen. None of our children will die in Jesus' name. Amen. No sickness will knock our children down. He says, Zechariah prophesied as a mother prophesied upon your children. And the Bible says, Mother decree a thing and it shall come more. It shall come to pass. Anytime you see something that is not right, that you know that this is not the hand of God in the life of my children, as a mother, as a father, you stood up and you prophesied. You said, This is the word of God. The Lord said, He blessed me and He added no sorrow unto him. And the Lord said, That He is the one that healed the sickness and disease that daughter cannot kill. Prophesy upon your children. Prophesy. Tell somebody, prophesy upon your children. Prophesy upon your children. Anytime you see something that you did not like around your children, stand up as a mother, as a father, and begin to declare upon that baby, upon that children, and it shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. That is what Ezekiah did. He prophesied. And you will prophesy upon your children. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 72. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Amen. Zachariah will tell him, God. He said, Father, perform your mercy. Anytime you see something that is not right in your life and the life of your children, say to that God and say, Father, perform what? Your mercy. Show forth your mercy. And the Lord will show forth his mercy. He said, remember, the holy covenant is the only God who keep what? Covenant. Tell it unto God. As a church, remind God and tell it unto God and say, Father, show forth this ministry your mercy. 
and the Lord will do. Amen. Let go of the three. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies. Amen. He said to rescue us from the hands of our what? Our enemy. He said, Father, do not allow the enemy to swallow me. Because you are promised with an oath to our father Abraham that you will rescue us from the hands of our enemy. What are those enemies? Sickness is an enemy. Poverty is an enemy. Barrenness is an enemy. Whatever you know that does not give you comfortable thing is an enemy to your life. As we pray today, the Lord God, he will deliver every one of us from the hands of our enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. So as to serve him without fear. Amen. He says, so that we can enable to serve you without fear. I pray for everyone that are sick. May the Lord show forth his mercy upon your life. Amen. He says that so that we will serve you, those we serve you with good heads. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. By the reason of anointing in the house today, everyone that are sick, oh Lord, oh God, whatever be our cry, Father, as many that we use it, on your law before this month end, Father, they will testify. Amen. You will show forth your mercy Amen. so that we can enable us to serve you without no fear, Amen. so that we can enable to serve you without no sickness, Amen. so that we can enable to serve you, Lord, with every good thing that we demanded from you. Amen. We will serve God this year. Let's go on. 75. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. And thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. 77. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the revelation of their sin. Through the tender mercy of our God. Whereby the past day spring of our high heart visited us. The 79. To give light to them that sit in the dark. Amen. The Lord will give light to everyone that is sitting in the darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will give us light. Mm -hmm. And in the shadow of death. Amen. He said, in the shadow of death, the Lord is saying that you will not die. Amen. He said, He will give you light to see, so that you will not use that your name to walk into any grave in Jesus' name. Amen. Your children will not use their name to walk into any grave. Amen. Your husband will not use their name to walk into any grave. Amen. As a church, you will not use your name to walk into any grave. Amen. The Lord will give us light yes. to see. Amen. When you see something danger, you are able to run away from that danger. It's when that danger is hidden from you and you fall what, into it. But when that danger is being what, exposed, you will not fall into it. That is the reason the Lord says that He will give us lights. Light will shine even when you are still what, in, the, in darkness so that you can see. Everyone will see in Jesus' name. Amen. To guide our feet into the way of peace. Amen. He said to carry our words, our feet into peace. In 2000, from, from now on, you will walk majestically into 2023 in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Trouble will not enter that new year with you. Poverty will not enter it with you. Because here the Bible tells us that it will guide our feet into a path of peace. Verse 18. And the child grew 
I went from the spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Amen. He said, and the child grew up, become what? Strong. And our son is doing what? Bad day to day and dedication at the same time. And as this baby is growing up, he will grow strong in the spirit of the living God. In the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. As many children that is in the house today, they will grow strong in the spirit of the living God in Jesus' name. Amen. When your child or your children grew up in strong in spirit, nothing shall be said. As a mother, you don't need to be one afraid. Amen. And the Lord is in control in Jesus' name. Amen. And let quickly also look at the book of Leviticus 24. Because today is our anointing service. And we are still going to be fast because we have a lot to do today. Before we read this Leviticus 24 from verse 1, I want all everyone who believes in the holy oil to get their oil. Because we are going to be praying. Amen. The Lord God Almighty we bring to pass. As Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth sing a new song to Almighty God. As you're using this oil today, you will sing a new song to Almighty God in Jesus' name. Amen. You will sing a new song. Live for God, don't worry yourself. Live it for God, don't cry no more. Jesus is alive. Amen. He understands what are we passing us today. Let his name be praised. Live for God, don't worry yourself. Live it for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is alive. Praise God, you must face tomorrow. He understands what I will pass straight on today. Let it be his way. Live it for God. Don't worry yourself. Live it for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is our life. Amen. He understands what I will pass through all today. Let his name be praised. He lives for God. Don't worry yourself. He lives for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is our life. Praise God. You can face tomorrow. Today, what he will do 
in your life, in your home. It will be the light that will continue burning till Christ come. Till we enter 2023. You will not know sorrow. Amen. Sorrow will not know you. Amen. As the light of God comes into your home, every darkness shall give way in Jesus' name. Amen. Every challenges shall give way in Jesus' name. Amen. As the oil goes into your house, whatever that is not of God in your home shall disappear. Amen. Only God and good things shall be permitted in your home in Jesus' name. Amen. That song we don't sing in that home. Amen. It's only praising God that you will sing in that home where the oil enter in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's hear the word of God in the book of Leviticus 24 from verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure oil olive. Amen. He said, pure what? Oil olive. And there is a purpose why God is requesting for what? For the pure oil olive. And there is a purpose why you are taking this oil to your home today. And that purpose shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Beating for the light to call the lands to burn continually. Amen. He said to cause the blessing of God to continuously in your life. Amen. As you take this oil home, as you using this oil, the blessing of the most high God shall continue. Amen. The grace of God shall be sufficient for you. Amen. The Lord God shall hold you. Amen. The Lord God shall secure your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The light of God will continue to be burning in your home. Amen. Let's go on. Yes, then. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation, shall Aaron order it from the evening unto the morning before the Lord continually. Amen. He said, the light will continuously walk, burning. He said, morning and walk and light. As you use this oil, you will testify. Amen. As you use this oil, you will testify. Amen. The purpose and the reason why you use this oil, you shall testify of it. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You will testify. Amen. Tell somebody you will testify. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will testify. Amen. Every good thing that you have been asking God, by the reason of choosing this oil, is it document, is it job, is it baby, whatever be it, you will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. God never lie. He never lie. Whatever that is served, it must surely comes to do what? To pass. He said, let them give me what? Oye, a pure oye. That she will continue as a light in your home. Continue burning. Continuously burning. And your light will never go down in Jesus' name. Amen. No one will quench the light of your children in Jesus' name. Amen. No one will quench the light of your husband and wife in Jesus' name. Amen. No enemy shall temper with your light. Amen. As you take this oil home today, your light shall continue burning in Jesus' name. Amen. Till Christ comes, so shall it be it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me clean run to the book of Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18, we are going to look something in the book or uh, chapter 10 of it. Proverbs 18, 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong power, 
the righteous running on into it and they are saved. Amen. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong word, tower. He said, the righteousness running unto it, they are be saved. As we enter this month, we shall be saved to enter 2023. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. The rich man's sweat is in his strong city and as an high war in his own concept. Before destruction, the heart of man is hurting and, and before all is humility. Amen. He said, before his war, that falling of a man has is what what comes forth is proud. That is what we are talking about today. When you are being proud, knowing that the next thing to come is falling. That is the reason we should take away what proudness, so that we will not do what we will not fall. And the Bible says, "Be humility come before what honor." When you humble yourself, you will be honored. Amen. Every time you humble yourself, knowing that the next thing that will come is to honor. But when you are proud, the next thing that has to come when you are proud is falling. And these are the things we Christians need to know and have its work in back of our hearts. And when you know this, that any time that you are proud, what follow is falling. You will keep away from what? From proudness. Amen. Tell somebody, humble yourself. yourself. Say, for Christ's sake, humble yourself. For Christ's sake, humble yourself. yourself. Tell somebody, they say, humble yourself so that you shall be honored. Amen. Amen. When you are not humble, no one will, will do what will honor you. No one. By the time you are proud, you want to tell the whole world who you are. Knowing that folly is before that person. May that one not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 13. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it is a fool and mm. shame unto him. Hallelujah. And this thing is common among we that call ourselves what? A Christian. He said, He who answer before he hear it. There are some people, and which the teacher was telling us today, they will not hear the other opponent side. Only one they will hear who confess to them first and then judge the matter. They are hot, and you don't know, and you don't listen to what happened. Here, the Bible is warning us. He said, by the time you now speak, and when you now hear the truth, you will be what? Ashamed. Let's go on. Verse 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, mm. but a wounded spirit who can bear. 15. The heart of a prudent getteth no knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Verse 16. A man's gift maketh trouble for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh the searcheth him. Amen. And that verse 16 of it, I love it so much. He said, A gift open the way for the, for the giving. And ushering him into the presence of the great. Amen. Amen. When you give, that gift that you give is what is ushering you into what? A greater thing. Many of us, when we come to the house of God, we will say, Why shall we why will I give? But here is telling us that whatever that we give. Is ushering us into what? A greater thing. Amen. Our son is doing better today. What we give, it will determine that the greater thing that you will also do what? Answer. A day will come 
you will also do war. Set apart that I want to do my bell day. And you don't know that the seed that you are sowed today, it will make thousands of people to honor you. Amen. Many of us did not know that. We only think of ourselves ourselves. May the Lord really help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for everyone that finding it difficult to give. May the Lord give you the spirit of gratitude. Amen. When you are tightening your hand to give in the house of God, meaning you are not tying yourself to poverty. When you release in the hands of God, that's what you release. And it's taking you, it's ushering you to a greater thing. To a greater thing. People will talk that they are wise. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let go on. Verse 18. The Lord caused contention to cease, and he parted between the mountains. A brother offended this harder to be one than a strong city, and their contention are like the bar of castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, mm. and, his, and, the, and with the increase of his lips shall be filled. Verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the, of the tongue, and they shall love it, shall eat the fruit. Amen. And that is what the teacher was telling us today. He said the tongues as the power of life and death. He lies what? In the tongues. That is the reason today teaching tells us to use our tongues wisely. When we use our tongue wisely, it determines how far you will go in life. It determines how far that we will go in life. He said, and those who love it we eat its fruits. Those who love to tell lies, those who love to use their mouths wrongly, you say from that what you are doing, you will eat from it. I have seen many people their, their mouths are putting into problems. Their own mouths. May the Lord help us. May the Lord give us the grace to use our tongues rightly in Jesus name Amen. the way you will use your tongues rightly he also bring honor unto you let go on verse 22 whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord Amen. here the Bible tells us and many of us today and many Christians today Pregnancing the woman without what married unto them. The Lord said, Whosoever that what finds a wife and finds what? A good thing. If you want to, if you if you are here, you never pay dowry, and the woman is with you, you are a thief. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You are worse than a robber. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Please and please for you not to be a thief or a robber. Together, you better do what is right. You better do what is right. Here, the Bible says, Who funded what? A wine. Funded what? A good thing. By the time you now use your mind to say, This woman is not good, now you. Now you talk. Because here, the Bible has says, Whosoever funded what? A wine. Funded what? A good thing. Because now you. Go knock for that door. Nobody knock come for you. Whatever you see, you also carry it and do what and be in it. No one chooses it for you. You choose it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Knowing it that every woman beside you is what they are good. If you want woman to be good to you, it will be good to you and tell you the truth. If you want woman to be bad to you, it depends on the man. Amen. 
And that Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And the bad bit of it says, and receive favor from the Lord. Meaning, the wife of the woman that you are keeping beside you, that you are not paid dowry, in the law, favor not the come. Knowing it from today, this in the Bible will not be made right time. We not get the she way they print the Bible for our family. How is it in your own? Read it. Let me see here from another one. Or tenet favor of the Lord. Amen. He said, in your tenet what? Favor. When you pay the diary, any prayer that you pray, you will take what? Favor from the Lord. But when you are a robber, you are a thief, and you went to God and pray, and you know the answer that God will give unto you already. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on because of time. The four, the three, the poor use it in treaties, but the rich are silent offering. Amen. Amen. When someone is poor, the answer is always pleasing for mercy. But only the rich people answer it well. Your lecture, they open their mouth and speak because it's the money that is not controlling them. We have seen a lot. Here in Europe, because of the little coins that is in their pockets, may the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You will use money, money will not use you in Jesus' name. Amen. 24, the last verse of it. A man that has friends must show him self friendly, and there is a friend that shrinketh closer than a brother. Amen. He said, there is what? A man of many compassion, many comes to room. When you have too much of friend, you are driving to what? To room. Too much of friend. It can lead you to where you don't suppose to be. He said, also, when you have a few friends that is more closer than a brother, it's better for you to have a thousand of friends. They are not adding anything to your life. It is good for you to not have only two friends. And you know that these two friends is like what? A brother. It's like a sister unto me. That you have ten friends. They are what? They are not adding value to your life. Many of us we want to keep many friends. We talk about by keeping it we are ready. You are driving to room. By keeping what? Many friends. Who is your friend? Amen. Who is your friend? Who are you friend to? Amen. Who are you friend to? Many of us will say, no, I don't want to have any friends because friends, they are trouble. Meaning you too are trouble to someone. Amen. You too are what? A trouble to someone. Because someone will also have you as a friend. Who are you to a friend? And who is a friend to you? He matters. Are you a friend to that person? A friend like a brother or like a sister to somebody? Or you are a friend that when they tell you something and you go out there and do what? And bring out that brother or that sister. Who are you as a friend? Go home and think about it. The Lord will help every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. That is my sermon for every one of us today. For those that is holy for you, we are going to pray before we enter into the birthday side of it. If you know that you have your oil in your hand, just write on your feet with your oil. Amen. Amen. Rise on your feet with your oil. We are going to do what? To pray. You are going to lift up the oil you held. What the Bible has told us in the book of Luke 1 from verse 67 of it. It says, Zachariah said God. With Elizabeth, his wife, they said God. 
in that situation which they are never break them down but God remember Elizabeth I don't know what you have been praying for I don't know what you have been asking God I have come to tell you today by the reason of using this oil the Lord will remember you Amen. open your mouth and begin to pray and say Father you remember Zachariah and Elizabeth Father remember me as I am serving you Lord of oh God remember me Zachariah serve you Lord of oh God Elizabeth serve you Lord Father Lord you remember them O oh Lord King of Glory you remember them all that they were asking Lord King of Glory you did it for them Father as we come unto you today Father Lord as many that we use this oil every trouble that we got around them shall be breaks away Amen. bad dreams oh Lord will not come to occur in their life so Lord oh God Amen. every bad dream that they have been dreaming from January Lord oh God December Lord oh God will not manifest it oh Lord Amen. Amen. they shall overcome so Lord they shall overcome they shall overcome Every prayer, Lord, as your children have been praying secretly, Lord, Amen. this month of December, Father, they shall testify. Amen. They will testify. Amen. They will testify Amen. of your goodness, O Lord, O God. Amen. They will testify. Amen. In Jesus' marvelous name, I pray. Amen. Open your oil and begin to use your oil. You will testify. You know what you have been asking God for. You will testify of those things. And the Lord is with every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. As we pray, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. That is my sermon of today. Now we enter into the building part of it. Let me quickly open our Bible to the book of Matthew 1 7. Matthew 1, 18. 